after these things, King Asuras promoted Haman, the son of Hamadatta, the Agitites, and advanced to him and established his authority over all the officials who were with him, all the king's servants who were at the king's gate in royal service, bowed down and honor and paid homage to Haman. For this is what the king had commanded in regard to him. But Mordecai, a Jew of the tribe of Benjamin, neither bowed down nor paid homage to him. Then the king's servants who were at the king's gate said to Mordecai, why are you disregarding the king's command? Now it has happened when they had spoken to him day after day, he will not listen to them that they told Haman to see whether Mordecai's reason for his behavior will stand as valid. For he had told them that he was a Jew. Amen. When Haman saw that Mordecai neither bowed down nor paid homage to him, he was furious. But he disdained laying hands on Mordecai alone, for they had told him who the people of Mordecai were or his nationality. Can you see that? Amen. So Haman determined to destroy all the Jews, the people of Mordecai, who lived throughout the kingdom of Azaveras. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I want us to learn why this Haman must go. Kenya got a way to tell why Haman you are Sunchu Usipila. When Haman was lifted, he wanted to put everyone who fear God down. When Haman was lifted, his problem was Mordecai. If you can read here, you hear that he knew who was Mordecai. He was told that Mordecai is a Jew. By then, Jews were considered people who fear God. There was serious problems. Because you can see what happened to Mordecai. People around him tested him if he mean business about his worship. And the Bible says they always speak with him And he said he can't bow because it fights what he believes in. The reason why Mordecai denied to bow because bow was like worship and he knew his God. He could not surrender and worship a man when he knows God. And then there was problem of Haman. One problem was, number one, he knew that this man is a Jew. And he understood that if he's a Jew, it's better he nullify all. If we read there, you could see that he was determined to destroy all who worship like Mordecai. And the Bible shows that though he did that, Bible at the end he failed. This 
is something that was happening all the time so ntoyiki into nigeria la kamehla so i was checking haman's problems so nekithola bothata wa mathata haman i found number 1 which is found in esther 5 ya mathomo itola la to 14 o esther 5 9 to 14 that mordecai was on the gate marotekai na dula le khorong but because he worship god maraka o bana o rapela modimo he was still a threat to haman na le ntu ya o tshushetsa bophilong ba gaman one of the problem was mordecai was at the gate marato ka ya shu o dirutse go gorong le se at the gate to enter wa bona gorong mo go tsenwang ka ona this is what is happening even to us today ke ntwe di alang le go reina le khono when you are at the gate jalong how do ji go gorong to enter where you are supposed to be o ro khono tsena mo tlameleng go tsena you are a problem o botata to the one who supposed to suppress you o ya tsentse ra wa hatelele one of the challenge was ei we had the challenge ya she haman knew that his promotion was from nowhere haman na tsi bo re promotion o tatushwa gae ho no ta go sa tshi filo and he understand that the man who was at the gate there is something he did for god but he was not promoted so akwisho re motho la go tla go gore una le ntwa id ile nga id la motho mena aza na o dirwe selo yena if he's at the gate ka bana ha dutse gorong the king could still see motho ne me khogoshi ya khona o bona everyone was at the gate motho ka o fela ya ka ba dutse ng go gorong and then he had an opportunity to be called inside so na una le monyeta gore a khona o bitswa ka hare now Haman had a problem that Mordecai he can still be called inside because of the record of what he did. Haman ya bale bothata ro monna wa ka bitswa ka gare le baka ke ntwelang ke leng a idira. The problem of Haman was number 1 Mordecai was at the gate. Bothata ba Haman ba mathomo marotoka ya shule o dutse goro. Number 2 sabo was the record he achieved at the gate. which was written in the book of chronicles ntwai direleng ya record ya direleng ya ba ya ngwalwa ka ra di book cha mishumo ya bantu and that record though he was not promoted for it record ya la le ga ya nasa thathuso a dielwa yona but it was written mara ka ro tabana di madi how many know that one day is one day a mana tse bo tsa tshile lengwe le tano thaelela three was he was not bawi ya bo sa bo rarwe a motho ona a sa khunami so always haman will be threatened ja. to say we know what this man did ja, no, haman and if he's not bawi, it means i'll be found that i'm promoted for nothing re atsibo re monna o dileng ene jo nong if asa khona me wo ra re tsata tsile lengwe e to tsebe ya taba ya gao ya sa se direleng in other words haman thought that though mordecai was quiet Haman ona no re le ge a khumotse monna he can still expose his promotion that he was promoted for nothing though his mouth was silent e tshele pepene neng o ro thatotse setse le fela le e molomo wa gaone o khumotse i don't know if you hear me a ke tseba le ntwa that was the problem of haman ke o thata ba haman bo haman knew that when a christian is quiet haman wa tseba go khuluswa a khumotse wa bolela ntja tsoletse molomo you know that when the christian is at the gate what se bora mo pulosa a ntse go gore a o itswaleletswe anything can happen you can be called inside e ka dira ala motho a bitswa ka hari o o rata dio se sengwe and this is what is happening to christians and ntwe ke di alang mo bophelong jwa ba pulosa christians need to know that number one, their record a very very important ba pulosa ba tse bo re molato wa bona e ke ntwe go thokwa thokwa where they've been stationed is very very important at the gate so they must not be intimidated by the people who were promoted for nothing because if they can still enter on the right time if you believe same amen so it was so good that so na e wule bo tse gore haman must go haman ya sipile because he was just there for nothing and when i look in the word of god and, i found that and always and it was the strategy of the living god to remove someone and put someone if you can read from back there you will see 
when David was entering the kingdom, Saul was already possessed with a demon. If you see, when John was going, Jesus was entering. When John was saying, look at the lamb. It was his finish of his ministry. But Jesus was starting. If you see, when God was speaking with Joseph and say, Joseph, call my son from Egypt. Because I don't want him to be associated with Egypt. Otherwise, he will be called Jesus of Egypt. And the Bible says, because another Herod entered, they went to Nazareth and he was called Jesus of Nazareth. So always God have to remove someone so that someone will enter. That was his strategy. And tonight, there is someone who is holding your position. That person must be removed and you must enter. enter. This was practiced by Jesus himself. He spoke about it in John 16, verse 7. He used the word in English, it is expedient that I must go away so that the Holy Spirit must come for you. In other words, if I stay here, you won't be promoted. Jesus spoke those words frequently and he was not ashamed of them. He knew that it's useless to stay here if you are premature but if he move away there is uplifting of them that will come upon their lives and he said the Holy Spirit the Counselor will come upon you when I go away listen to this going away or being shifted is not easy but it's an opportunity to the one who enters when Moses was taken away Joshua to him it was not easy because his dreams were limited and his fear was the assignment in front of him but God said hey I'm with you the shifting brings you to your place it is your time to take your place no matter your situation may be if you believe shout hallelujah shake somebody and say hey you, you cannot live this kind of life you, you cannot die there you, you cannot die there listen unless God shifts something from you Nothing won't happen. And let God shift something or someone. You won't reach there. There are some people that must be shifted. There are there things that must be removed. Don't worry and cry when you see something like that. It's an opportunity to take over and reach your destiny. If you believe, shout hallelujah. This was a problem in Mordecai. Listen, the problem of Mordecai was not Esther who was in the palace. Was, was the man on the gate. The men on the gates there. I don't know if you are hearing me. Because you are so close. Somebody has to fight you. He will love you to bow. He will bring situations. That will make you to feel you are not worthy to enter inside. There is no depression or oppression. There is no suppression. That can take you away from where God is taking you. Because God is placed. You with a purpose. Hey, this year I must fulfill my purpose. This year I must live my life. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I was asking myself why the record of what Mordecai 
was forgotten. Sometimes when this thing happened, you ask yourself, if God is he aware of what I'm facing? Look here. You do one, two, three, but no one mind about that. No one sees that you are doing what is right. I was questioning why the record was forgotten. That to extend that God has to take a night like this. And say the king must sleep. Listen to this. It's not that God does not want to live you. But God was waiting for a certain time like this. The record was forgotten because of a certain reason to lift you and to make you to stay there without any intimidation forever. If you believe Shout hallelujah. Say, I know that I have done something and my God has not forgotten and this is the night that the king could not sleep. This is the night that the king cannot get sleep. Until something happens. If you believe, say amen. Amen. If the king can sleep, it means, oh, where are you, God? It means what you have done for him is not even yet counted. Because sometimes we ask ourselves that I think we have prayed enough. And then nothing has happened. Think about somebody praying God. I want to see. But still something is not happening. As if, as if God is not even away. As the Bible is saying. You know when you pray believe that. You have received you will have it. But you find that nothing. Your prayer was prayed. Was prayerless. It doesn't make any change. Think about this a time. When you stay close to God. And you say something will happen. And you find that still. That record can end up crashing. Because of what you are facing. But can I tell you this. I've got good news for you. Tonight. That record. Will be open. This morning. That is coming. It's a morning. Of lifting. It's a morning. Of taking over. It's a morning. Of going to your destiny. This morning. That is coming. God will do wonders. There's something that I want you to reason about it before I show you another scripture. This morning that is coming. You are the determiner of it. This is the morning that when it comes like this, you will know, uh, I never wasted my money to come here. You will know that, oh, Okay, it was God who told this man that, that we must be here. You will just know that oh, God was there and and God was there and God's purpose cannot be understood by human understanding. This is the morning that will take Haman and go back with shame whereby even the people who are, who are supporting him will say if you have fallen this time on this one you will never rise again because this man we know the one he is serving I don't know if you are hearing that shake somebody and say hey the morning that is coming is the morning that your accusers those who plot against you will catch their plots if you believe shout hallelujah if you read Esther 4 verse 13 to 14 Esther 4 13 to 14 is when here 
Mordecai, que mola Mordecai, had the story of what Haman want to do. Akwele kadi taba che Haman ijo nonga nyaka ngodidira. Haman's plan, Haman idi plan ichagai was no longer of destroying Mordecai. Na di staba cha u bula yo ba oferisha Mordecai fela. Now was of destroying the whole church. Now ku nyoko oferisha kereke ka muka. The assembly of the living God. Eh u kopano ya modimo wa uphila. You know Haman went further. Haman a tswela pele ga bedi to say if this man we destroy him alone still someone will rise in the church and will be worse than Mordecai. so let's make sure the whole nation but the story that Mordecai said there he said Esther Esther away. You are in the king's palace. This is the time that <inaudible> all of us <inaudible> as a church we stand together and pray. And as we pray, let's believe that all of us we need this breakthrough. Because if you relax, salvation of from the Lord can still come from somewhere. Don't ever think you are safe. Don't ever think you are safe when you are driving that car. Don't ever think you are safe when you are staying in that house. This Haman is not interested in me alone and other people. You can be followed in the excitement. You can be followed when you think you are making it and this Haman can destroy you. I don't know if you're hearing me. And Esther said, hey, I'm hearing you. Let's fast as a church and it will go to the king and the king will agree whether he likes it we need to go beyond the law. This night, we go beyond the natural and take over our stand. I don't know if you are hearing me. This night, we go beyond the principles that has been established and we take over what belongs to us in the name of Jesus. He must go. He must go. Whether we are not supposed to follow the protocols, we need to follow and stand together this night and reach where God wants us to reach. Going by the protocols, by ABC, it won't work for us. We are breaking from A to Z. We jump A. We go to S. We don't follow the protocols. We jump the principles that take people forward. This man must go. He must go. He must die. He must die. He must die. And we must take over. This night, it's a night that the formula does not work. I don't know if you're hearing me. You see, when Esther said, okay, let's go for fasting. You know, I was not seeing the king for 30 days. I was not seeing the king. And just to come and see the king, you can be king. But if we take three days, whether the king does not extend the sculpture, I will enter there and break the protocol so that we bring a change in our life. I don't know if you are hearing me. Listen. Maybe you need to understand that one of our challenges today is protocol. It's a protocol. This is the time that 
we change how Kena we move. Ya we become a lizard than Ribe a crocodile. crocodile. Because a crocodile will just say, I have to go there and come there. But a lizard will say, where there's a crack, I enter. You people today, enter where you cannot, you cannot enter. Reach where you cannot reach if you believe shout hallelujah. That's what Esther was saying. Esther was saying that Esther for me to be rich, I must work, I must get the money, I must do this, I must invest. And Esther said, no. We don't work that way now. Whether the situation is not agreed, I can move from poverty to become a millionaire. I can move from being emptiness in the spirit and become food in the Holy Spirit. I don't know if you hear me. I can say my Tell someone say my friend. What are you looking for? Your hammer must go. Hammer no wale not on Joseph Peter. Your hammer must go. Hammer no wale na shoot. Listen. I'm here to tell you that. Naki moto le bocha fella ore. If your hammer doesn't want to go, I will kill him. Hammer no asa nyaku sipela wia hua. I don't know if you hear me. I can say my friend. If he doesn't want to go, I will do it. Asa nyaku sipela wia ni amulai. I'm not saying you. I say I will kill him. Akereli na ni kereli na kito mulai. Because the Lord is with me. More na una le na. And he wants you to go through. He wants you to reach your life and live that kind of life. Gone are the days of living a life in an apologetic way. Gone are the days of just staying there and waiting for his step to come. This is the time where God is releasing you to reach a level that you are created for. It is your time to take over. If you believe, say, hey, I feel this time. When I was thinking about Haman, I said, why always Haman thought good things must start with him? You know, that's how Haman thinks. When you've got an harmonic spirit, always you think you are better than others. You can't celebrate others. You don't want to learn. You don't want to learn. Haman was supposed to have said. I don't understand why this man promoted. I can't be sure why Mutuam promoted. This promotion is fruitless. Promotion is not able to see local or another country. And why they're not promoting this one? And why that was the first lesson of Haman. The second one was why Mordecai does not bow. Why Mordecai does not bow? Why Mordecai does not bow? Let me learn from him. Mordecai, why do you bow? Other people are bowing. Tell me. Mordecai will tell you. Say, hey. There's something in me that does not accept. And this one is the one who created heaven and earth. So if I bow, I'm making you equal with that one. And that one is called jealousy God. He will kill you. Remember that he killed Herod. When people are praising, he said, that was the voice of God. And Herod was sitting up and the Bible says, same time, the worms came out. And he died there. The angel of death struck him. So Haman was supposed to have led. So Haman does not learn anything. That's my friend. If you want to know Haman close to you, Haman does not learn anything. If you make friendship with Haman, he is, is going to become a stable brother. He will fight you. He will later try to kill you. But this time, can you just say, hey, I can't bow. I cannot be close to you. I worship the living God. And the same God who brought you the gate will open that gate. 
This is the time of entering inside. Entering inside your position. Entering inside where God has placed you. Entering inside where you were created. Tell your neighbor, say, hey, I want to enter inside now. It's a time of entering. When you're a pastor, you're preaching outside. Enter inside. Gena. 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 And you feel the Holy Spirit. And you feel the Spirit speaking with you. Get inside. Inside. It's no issue of just try something outside. When we are trying to do business. How like a business? How like a business? Then a kahar, a bona. Then a Then a kahar. So stand up and try to come over to me. Because when we are in need, we are not able to do anything. 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 They say you are seated inside. You are there. You are there. You are there. Mordecai was not even afraid. He just entered there. He proved how much he was there. If he can die at the gate, that's fine. I don't know if you are hearing me. And he knew that a day like this will come. You know, there's something that has been written there. That when that day came, there are two things that has happened. The first one, that is the ring that was wearing it. The first one, the ring that was, was, was the finger of Haman was taken by the king and was given to Mordecai. Even the property of, of Haman was taken and given to I don't know if you are hearing me. When that time came, I don't know if you are hearing me. And the Bible says, not only that, he was promoted, he was inside. This time, whoever took your position must bring it back. Someone is wearing your ring. I said, someone is wearing your ring. I don't know if you are hearing me. I said, someone is wearing your ring. Someone is wearing a ring. Someone is staying in your house. I don't know if you're hearing me. I'm sure you're saying what I'm going to say. When you leave this service, you must take something that belongs to you. Listen. Don't start from scratch. Someone has built your house. 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 Don't start from scratch. Somebody is driving your car. Don't start from down. I don't know if you are hearing me. I said, don't start from down. Listen. By the time when you reach there and take over, you will take over so simple. simple. I don't know if you hear me. You just take over so simple. I'm seeing you as I'm prophesying. That after this service, you will take over in a simple way. Tell the neighbor, say, hey. There are things I must take them back. Somebody is possessing them in the wrong way. I must take my possession. I must take my job. I must take something that belongs to me. My life, my life, my life, my life, my life must come back this year. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for that? Are you ready? Tell the neighbor, say, hey, your Haman must go. Let me explain to you why Haman must go. Number one, Samaton. If Haman is not going, <laughs> you pray wrong prayers. Because Haman will never leave you. He will plot against you. He will plot until he, he must die. In fact, Haman must die. 
Can you see what Haman did? When he was given chance by Esther to come and sit down in the banquet, his friends say, Make a gallow. Make a gallow there. With that gallow, they say you, Madagascar must be hanged. Always, he will never leave you until you die. You want to see your dead body. So this Haman must die. I'm sure you understand. That. Number two, Haman always will love to replace you. Haman always will love to replace you. If you are there, you are trying to possess this, it will take over. If you are taking something and say it's yours, how just will just come and exactly. take it easy. Amen or not that you said it here will You know, I found that I'll give an example by pastors. When you're a pastor like this, the moment you put a tent there. You want to do crusade. You will see Haman on the side. Sometimes Haman will just come later after he did crusade. And he pitched a tent. If you do business, you How put it business? here. Haman will come and Haman put his on the Haman makes things difficult. Haman would you already be able to That you have seen what you have or seen. But this time, that noise, you were hearing. You will never hear it again. I say you will never hear it again. When Haman fights you, he's promoting you. There's no limit when you overcome Haman. I say there's no limit. When you overcome Nama, say, hey, I don't have a limit tonight. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. I don't have a limit. I'm reaching somewhere. I'm 